Welcome to this second video on Microfocus's DevWeb protocol. In this video, we'll cover the script generation process. We'll record a simple business flow using an HAR file exported from Chrome and generate a DevWeb script using offline code generation. Although we use Chrome here, DevWeb supports HAR files exported from all the major browsers. Let's open the Chrome browser and its developer tool. We don't want to lose network communication when navigating between pages. Let's make sure that the preserve log option is checked. We should also make sure that the browser cache is disabled. Let's verify that the disable cache checkbox is selected. We'll record a simple business flow using the Advantage online shopping site. In order to have all traffic recorded, we need to make sure that the browser has finished downloading the current page entirely before we navigate to the next page. We can do this by observing the Network tab and making sure that all the requests are completed before navigating. We'll choose Tablet. And we'll buy three tablets. Now, let's go to the checkout screen. We have now finished recording our business flow. So let's export the business flow network traffic to an HAR file. Now we'll generate a DevWeb script from the exported HAR file. Script generation is done using the DevWeb offline code generation tool. The DevWeb script is generated under the Scripts Advantage Online folder. Let's see the result. Offline code generation supports different types of filtering via headers, blacklists or whitelists of hosts, and file extensions. Let's filter out all the fonts from the script resources. The fonts have the WAF extension. Let's regenerate the script and check that there are no web request resources with the WAF extension. The code generation log and snapshots can be found under the script's CodeGen folder. Thank you for watching this video about generating a script via an HAR file. We invite you to watch our next video, Generating a Script via the Proxy Recorder.